Hey, it's your girl, Emily Curl, and today we're talking about the new song and music video, In the Water. We have Cal and Quinn92 and the director of that video, Mike O'Brien, here. First off, guys, congratulations. The video is out. It's brand new. It's awesome. Thank you so much. Cal, do you want to hop It is. Show? I don't, don't want to be the first one to say anything. It is awesome. <laughs> I feel like I've had to, like, hype myself up in the past and be like, yeah, the video is awesome. This video is awesome, and you're looking at Mike O'Brien, who, like, you'll see in the behind the scenes when Quinn and I are talking like, man, hope that shot uh, really turns into something good. <laughs> this guy is a wizard. Um, the, behind the, scenes, the behind the scenes footage is, is like actually some of my favorite behind this because normally like when you get BTS on a music video, it's just kind of like, hey, my name's so and so and I did this and that's it. Like, but th this is like another music video in a, like the BTS is like a whole other thing. And, and yeah. like, like I haven't told you, but like you killed it, dude. Like the whole thing is spectacular. So. <laughs> Thank you, bro. I think yeah, I mean, appreciate it. The whole thing uh, dealing with green screen, you got to convince the artists that, believe me, this is going to look dope, you know, mm -hmm. even though they can't see it, but it turned out great. Well, before we dive into the specific shots, talk with me about the concept of it. How did it come to life? How did you guys decide that this was the direction you wanted to go in? I think for this video like ob and i have worked together for almost ten, like eight nine years whatever eight nine years yeah yeah we're, we're getting well, possibly longer. So, so the way music videos work and quinn can speak to this is a lot of times like your label or something will say we got these seven people or whatever to submit a treatment for the video with ob when he talked about trust earlier it's completely there so when he's like dude listen water is just underexplored as an element like if we shoot this at high frame rate slow motion i'm saying visually we can just do something crazy and i was just i i know what he can do so when he's thinking when you're like oh man if you can make it look that cool he always makes it look cooler than like he's explaining it so wow. <laughs> if that makes sense let's break this down frame by frame so we're going to sure. kick it off we have a couple things we're going to show you guys and we want to hear all the stories the behind the scenes the key moments you guys fill us in whatever you want to tell us and it sounds like the behind the scenes was really fun so i also really want to hear those stories if it sparks a memory we're jumping <laughs> right into the first frame this shot's crazy mm -hmm. and, the, and the location looks amazing just to set the premise, where was it shot at? Cal, where Cal, where was it shot at? I mean, it looks it looks fantastic. I don't know where that was. Okay, this is actually my backyard, but Ob what? Ob dressed it up crazy. It is yeah. not. No, it I looks, trust me, it looks that special in person. I I, I, I can't can, even I can claim that to be my backyard because he made it. But so when I was getting like set up, I saw Ob lying there, like looking up with this crane that's probably five thousand pounds over him, and I was like, man. This looks sketchy. It's like moving up and down. And then yeah. he's like, yo, so this is going to be your first shot. You're going to lie right here. And then I just want you to perform this to camera. But um, I'll just say, when you sent me what I thought was the finished video, and I was like, this is incredible. It didn't even have these water droplets over me. It did it not? No, uh, it didn't. The water was added later? Oh, yeah, that's visual effects. Oh, I fully was like, no, they should. They, they were just, like Good. pouring water over hey, that's cool. <laughs> it's that's cool. That's even better. Yeah, that's right. the point. Exactly. Okay, you fully. That's me. actually Quinn just spitting water drop. It's all slow now. <laughs> yeah. Behind the camera. <laughs> we're on a budget. <laughs> okay, let's go into our next scene. This I want to talk about. I love the aesthetic and the vibe. Like, it's bright. We see clouds, this time lapse moment. My question for you on this one is how did you find the perfect clouds? Obi, how did you find oh. those clouds? How did I find did those? Clouds. Well, those are those are computer generated clouds. <laughs> no, they're not. Y'all are yes. killing me with this. Are you serious? <laughs> yes, be, you could have uh, been like, I spent years chasing these clouds. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. like, did you have to yeah. wait and watch for the perfect clouds? I really thought. I would have loved to get those actual shots, but time constraints. <laughs> okay, I'm learning a lot. I'm learning a lot today, okay? You mean um, you didn't stake out like they do in uh, Planet Earth and just like wait for yeah, the exactly. right moment for months? <laughs> like months. Yeah. I was actually imagining that. I was like, they're definitely like waiting to the, the clouds, right? It's a perfect sunny day. Yeah. Let's start up our next clip that we have. Nice. Now this one I loved because this was the first one. I was like, okay, how did they do this? We see Cal literally walking on water. Walk me through what went into the shot and where was the camera position? How did we get this? Not visual effects. Yes, we can pull off an answer where we <laughs> did <get> this. <laughs> Thank God. <laughs> yes. Yeah, this is this is mostly practical effects. This is just being born with the ability to walk on water. And, it, and it was something that I- Very well, black. I, incredible. <laughs> no. It's a gift. Um, so uh, Obi actually reached out to one of his guys who custom makes 
plexiglass and there's this area there where we were able to rest some plexiglass very close to the water and Obi was like, he was very on top of it. He was like, had a ruler out there and was like checking the wind conditions <laughs> and making sure that just the right amount of water was on top of this plexiglass to make it seem like I was walking on water. So that was actually a physical thing I'm standing on. Were you scared it was gonna fall or is it like- It was, It felt sturdy. Did it feel sturdy? I was, cause I was nervous. I was like, ish. what if yeah. he falls in? Definitely and... ish. The thing is when, when I did like a big movement, you would feel it shift under your feet. And then I was like, man, this is gonna yeah. be crazy. Or the whole, he it was really heavy. So the heavy piece of plexiglass, if it slides and hits Emma, then, everything's over so yeah before we move on i do want to call out that this artwork in the back is also so cool with the the mouth that is street artist yeah. jules muck shout out i was actually walking by her place in venice like three years ago and she's just like the truest artist in fact the david bowie um when he when he passed away and there was like the billboards that was all over venice that went viral um quinn you've definitely seen her stuff walking around venice she's on I, the side of buildings she did, that, she did a mural in dave Grohl's studio but check her out instagram at she's muck rock cal you and mike have a, a rapport you guys have been friends for so long quinn when did you first meet cal and mike oh. yeah, yeah the first time i met him was at the shoot and and i think I, honestly i think that some of the best you know, the best directors can make you feel at home immediately. And Mike did that immediately. And it just felt like I, you know, I wasn't surprised because when Cal and I met, which was a while ago, like in we, Cal, I don't know if you remember this. We were we like in the several same phases of meetings. Yeah. We, we went to like a chain smoker, like Grammy party. And we were in like in the same like shuttle bus going up to the house. And I was like, are you yes. Cal like from like Time Flies Cal? And yes. And he was like, yeah. And I was, I was like, oh, I'm Quinn. Like I'm like, <laughs> moved out here recently. He's like, oh yeah. And he was like super nice. And we just kind of kept in contact. Since. And hold on, we played a show together at Central Michigan in like 2014. Yes. I opened up for Time Flies back when Cal, Stop I didn't even know Cal. Yeah, so I, I, I was too scared to go which, up which, yeah. o, which OB was the videographer I must have the been show. there, I don't remember that. So yeah. were, we, were you really? Oh we were all yeah, in the same, this has been years in the Wow, making. that's crazy. But Wait, that's, that's crazy. crazy to think about. That's crazy. Yeah. Yeah. Universe, universe works in mysterious ways. Now this moment is honestly iconic. The first time that we see Cal going into the pool and I have so many questions. Set the scene for us here. Like I always wonder with these shots, like how, how many times do you have to take this and how do you prep for this? You only get one shot at this because I'd love to say we had 17 backup wardrobes ready to go, but that was it. So um, the water balloon that was falling from the clouds this entire time that Mike's been dropping and throwing off was what knocks me into the water. And we only had one shot to get that to hit me and knock me in. And Quinn was up on a ladder and he had, he yeah. had one chance. He did a test throw where he was I like- I missed it the first time, didn't I? Mm -hmm. I like threw yeah. it over your head. And then it was like, all right, guys, like this is the, sh like- This is it. We only have, it was like, it was like, we only have so much film left. Like here we go. I think right one, bou one Quinn, bounced how off of his you? back. Yeah. I was really, I was really nervous, and because we were losing daylight too, so it was like we were, we were really scrambling for like. This was Michael Jordan Game Six. I mean, everything was yeah. on the line, and yeah. if he, <laughs> if he messed this up, we're not having this conversation. Video is not right. happening. Hopefully, right. we're, we're not, we're not <laughs> the video will be much, the video will be much different. Yeah. 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 Um, wow. So yeah. So Wait, you're welcome, Kel. Some people are born with the clutch gene. Well done. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. For real. Impressive. Um, no, I'm still remember though. the fact that you only had one wardrobe. I know. Really? And funny, funny backstory. I didn't even tell you guys this. These jeans, while they look so designer with their rips, I was at a bachelor party, so you can imagine what state I was in and eating and dropped barbecue sauce in several places on my pants. And I was like, oh no, I ruined my pants. And one of the guys brought scissors over and just cut out the areas that were stained. And those are those pants, so. No way. Yeah. I kind of love that actually. So wow. who needs a tied to go pen? Just get scissors, cut yeah. them, spray it <laughs> a little bit. Mm -hmm. <laughs> That's unbelievable. Mm -hmm. All right, let's throw up our next clip. We have the water to surface slow-mo with actress Emma Erdman, your co-star, which is so cool. I'm curious here for the camera, where was the setup again, since you're so close to the water, how did you get the shot? This was in the shallow end. And I think we were on a, like a tight lens, maybe like an 85 millimeter lens with that slow-mo camera I mentioned. And that's the shot. How many frames per second like, is that, Obi? It's about, I think that was about 2,000 frames a second. This specific shot was the Phantom. Emma was the trooper the that day because she was in the pool for like... Yeah. That yeah. Poor, I was going to say, is Emma an amazing girl. swimmer? She is no. like... <laughs> she, she was in there for like, Cal's not exaggerating, like maybe, maybe like seven hours or yeah. something. 
Mm -hmm. Like it was, it was actually kind of crazy. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Her skin so. looks amazing. How is she not so pruny? We're gonna have to ask. <laughs> we're gonna have to ask Emma. Just got that. It. I don't know. Emma, <laughs> if you see this, we need to know. <laughs> no, okay. I didn't understand this reference. My producers wanted me to ask you: Is this like a nod to Phoebe Cates at Fast Times at Ridgemont High? Okay. Honestly, oh. I did not know that movie. When before. <laughs> I first saw this, I didn't think edit, of that, actually. And I don't know if Ob did it this way, but when I first saw this edit, that is the first thing I thought of. Uh, I've never seen that. So Ooh. the answer is yes, it wasn't odd. <laughs> <laughs> this shot was inspired by, yeah, like, you know, when the swimmers, they come up in slow motion? Yeah, it's like, yeah. Well, that's exactly, yeah. That was the inspiration for that, yeah. Well, you nailed it. So speaking of underwater, let's throw to our next clip. We see Cal fully immersed here. First off, are you, you're literally singing underwater. You're actually yeah. underwater here, right? This was a master class in breath control. Um, <laughs> I nearly perished. But um, <laughs> this Ob and I have you know, like from being on tour, like we 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 used to like work out on tour together. He just we just got that rapport, and then he just like he he's such a good hype man. Just like I know you can do it. Just give it to me. Give me the shot. You can get it. And so like on the end of it, I'm like starting to come up, and I'm fading, and I'm just like I don't even know if my mouth is moving. But um, I mean you we got the shot. We so, got it. You are your it. eyes burning, Cal? Oh yeah, terribly. Yeah. Quinn put on goggles because he was I, like, I'm not good. I, have, I, have, I have contacts, so I had to wear goggles. Yeah, yeah. I wasn't going to risk that. Um, they're expensive. So, um, yeah. Let's talk about this next clip we have. So, Quinn, your fall from heaven. Mm -hmm. um, again, how, first off, how? <laughs> how did, was this set up? How did you guys shoot this? Walk me through this whole thing. So, we, we had two stools underneath a green, uh, like, Park, blank, yeah. uh, blank blanket because you know it's, part, it's green screen and then we had the green screen behind me and we had Luke Cal's wonderful manager behind him holding up my legs so it looked like my <laughs> whole body was extended um, and then Cal was below me with a leaf blower blowing Wait, up there. Quinn we actually have this photo this is a photo you that we have. This? Yeah so what, what we were talking about earlier like Cal was you know, my hype man in this moment, he was giving me uh, <laughs> wind to b blow my clothing around. Like it was, it was a team yeah. effort in the in the most literal sense. And this man's whole body was under duress. I mean, you would yeah. rest him, like uncomfortably yeah. on his, I don't think hot air yeah. would. That was the last thing I was worried You're about. You're like, I'm yeah. fine, I'm yeah. good. I was doing yeah. like a, a core workout that from yeah. hell. I you was had the like, stool digging yeah. in here. Then Luke, who, who you've only uh, spent a couple days hanging with, was moving your legs up and down to make yeah. it look like no. you're right. boiling. <laughs> Yeah, and under a blanket, yeah. And he was doing all the lyrics and singing. Wait, I just, I just really want to quickly want to say, oh, I've been say seeing a lot online that people are like, you did the Lil Nas X that Quinn that you did the Lil Nas oh. X from him descending. Yes. yes, yes. So people are comparing that to the the new Lil Nas X video of him falling. Yeah, I, I, I don't know. You know, I, I <laughs> poor timing, I guess. But no, that what we didn't know that was gonna his video was gonna come out, but clearly different context also, so. So let's go on to this next one, so Quinn, where we actually see you fall into the water. So yeah. our biggest question here is like, well, for one, are you okay because this looks like this hurts? How did you get through this? And how did you actually land so perfectly from your fall from heaven? Similar to Cal's, like we only had one take to do this because again, I had no backup wardrobe and we, <laughs> it was just like, Mike was just like, look, just I need you jumping full out, arms you know, out, legs out, basically just, exactly how you were falling earlier um, and just make it seem like it's a seamless, you know, transition from the sky and to your the pool. feet coming up like you, like you yeah. really. Yeah, I really, I really committed to it. And you I, did. I, it did you jump or, or were you it, suspended and you fell? No, no, I jumped. jumped. I like took a running start off Cal's, uh, the side of the pool and like cement and did the whole thing, like proper belly flop, you know, and like definitely, like definitely it was a real belly flop. like. You'll see it in the BTS also, it was like a good smack, but. It was great. Uh, Mike, the trust you had to have for just this one shot, were you nervous capturing this? No, 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 I trust you these do. two. And I know that they're athletes, as they've stated, <laughs> so, you know. Yep, it's easy when you have athletes you're working with. For real. JV, yeah. We have a couple more for you. I was thinking this was favorites. real water. This is, this is real water. Um, we had it offset. Is? Yes, offset there was a hose that was spraying and the camera just sprayed down and we got a nice slow motion legendary shot. I remember I remember this was the first this. shot that I saw from like playback of the whole day. Yeah. And I was like, all right, this video is gonna be sick. Cause I was like, I didn't I don't know what this is gonna look like. And I saw this and Same. like 
it was, I was like, I'm hooked. Like, this is going to be great. I was already hooked, but I was like, now I can finally kind of like see Mike's like vision come to life. And it was like super inspiring to, to see that for like two seconds. Creatively and metaphorically too, what were you trying to get across in this scene? We didn't want to give away too much of the storyline because, you know, Quinn and I had talked about this, about, about like, yeah. we want people to find their own meaning um, mm. in the song and in the video. But the idea of something being in the water, that certain like quality that you're not sure of, there is a hint of like a dream sequence at the end when um, Quinn and Emma are in this water droplet and when they exchange places, which makes me laugh every single time. Yeah, yeah. Um, it's a very we like, that one too. unfortunate <laughs> reveal of like, no, it's not this like hot girl you think it is. It's like this 28 year old dude. Uh, <laughs> just looking like a snack. Yeah, absolutely. But no, I was, <laughs> no, metaphorically, it was about like, we ask ourselves too many questions and we, we question and overthink and self-doubt everything we do. And the whole point of this song is there's something in the water. And this is like, I'm trying not to let it in, but eventually we all end up in, in the water and, and accepting Oof. where we are. So mm -hmm. I don't want that to hit too hard, but you know, it felt like- Wow. <laughs> drop it, drop the yeah. knowledge. Mm -hmm. um, I'm also glad that you mentioned the underwater transition because that's <laughs> another one that we do have that one here. So talk to me again about this moment, Quinn. It makes me laugh looking at it again. Um, we basically had Emma obviously, you know, shoot her segment going down, cut, and then you had me go underwater. And I actually had a while I was underwater, like we, we like Mike called out action and I had to hear the music also like at the right moment to pop up and then, you know, sing like I am. Um, so it took a few times, but that was like the last shot for me I had to do of the of the day. Um, really? But kind of a, you know, a little funny thing we can add at the end there just to sort of That's put amazing. some humor, humor into it, yeah. Okay, we have one more for you guys, this last one. I loved all these glam shots of the bubbles and it evokes such a feeling in me where I'm like, I just can't wait to be in summer, in the water, celebrating. So I'm curious for you guys, how did you celebrate the end of this day long shoot? What did that look like for you guys? Um, well, we dried off, which was great. That was uh, that was kind of like a mini <laughs> celebration. And then, I mean, it, video shoots, honestly, I don't think people realize how tiring they actually are. And, you know, a lot of it is just as, as from the artist's perspective, it's kind of Cal and I just like waiting, getting kind of directed as to what to do next. And it, it's a lot of downtime and just sort of watching guys like Mike, the directors and producers and the whole camera team like setting up. And from from their end to ours, it's like, it's weirdly just a very exhausting day. So for me, I think I just went home and like <laughs> fell asleep. But um, I, I think <laughs> it wasn't as like- celebration. Yeah, it wasn't as glamorous Sleep's as I important. think. No, I'm so with you. It's so anticlimactic, yeah. the ending. You so think we'd true. all be like, we had actually right. talked about like, oh yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll have a few drinks, like yeah. talk about the day. And by like, yeah. we were cleaning up and it was like, I think I said to Obi, I was like, you, you're not still wanting to do something right now. Yeah. I was like, no, nah, I'm going no. home, bro. Yeah. 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 What about the first time you guys all saw the final video? What was that moment like? And, and what did you feel when you saw it? Cal sent it to me. Um, he was just like, dude, this looks crazy. I mean, he said some other swear words in there, just really excited. And it, it, I was <laughs> like, all right, this, this better yeah. be good. Yeah, he was like, this is an effing movie. And I was like, okay, let's let's check it out. And I thought the same thing. And and, and, and especially when we got the colored version after that, it really brought mm. things to life. And it really just kind of like made it into a real like short film essentially. And, and yeah. I don't know, like I'm really, I'm really, really, really excited about it. And I think it's, it's, it's one of the cooler ones I've videos I've ever been a part of as far as just like a f visual effects and I've never been flying in a video before. So for me, it's a first and I'm just honored to be a part of it. Yeah. Also, so. and we talk about this in the, in the BTS and obviously a theme of this whole conversation has been about trust. But when we're, do when I have a leaf blower pointing at Quinn's face, we have, we'd like to imagine we know what it's going to look like, but we have no idea. So I know yeah. that when I saw this, I, it, I was seeing it for the first time, which when you don't use the VFX, you're not seeing it for the first time. You're just seeing like, oh, they edited that together, but I, mm. I knew it existed. Mm -hmm. This was the first time this visual had entered my brain. So I, I immediately FaceTimed OB and I was like, what have you done? You sourced yeah. <laughs> it. was also, it was also a video, it was a video too, where aside from that first umbrella shot that we just saw, mm -hmm. I didn't see like any other frames during the entire day. And then really? at the end, 
at the end of the set, like I just said, I was so tired. I was just like, all right, guys, just, you know, send it to me like when it's done and <laughs> we'll go from there. But like, so I really didn't, aside from Cal's umbrella shot, I really had no idea what it was going to look like. So to Cal's point, it's like we, it, it was, it was, I don't want to say it was a gamble, but it was just, it, there was definitely yeah, some you had to see it. Well, that's amazing. I mean, the video is truly incredible. Thank you guys so much for being here. We're so excited and for breaking it down frame by frame with us. This was great. That was a lot of fun. Thank you so much. Appreciate it. Thank you. Of course. And thank you all for watching In the Water Out Now. Go stream it. Go check out the music video if you haven't already seen it. Thanks so much for watching our frame by frame for In the Water with Cal, Quinn92, and the director, Mike O'Brien. Let us know your favorite frame in the comments below. And don't forget to stream In the Water Out Now. We'll see you next time. Hey guys, thanks so much for watching. Did you like that video? You can check out more over here. And don't forget to subscribe to iHeart right here. And if you're already a longtime fan, make sure you ring the bell down below so you don't miss a single video. Bye guys.